Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to continue with some more information about polygons. So we have different kinds of polygons. We can call them equiangular, equilateral, and regular. So what are those types of polygons? Well, equiangular means that all the angles are the same. Equi means the same, and of course, angular means angles. So here we have a rectangle. It could be a square, but in all cases, you can see that the angles are all the same, so therefore we call them equiangular polygons. We can have the case where all the angles are not the same, but all the sides can be the same. So that's called an equilateral, lateral for sides. So here all four sides are the same, and therefore we call them equilateral polygons. Here we have what we call a regular polygon. For a polygon to be called regular, it must be both equiangular and equilateral. So a square has all four sides the same and all four angles the same. So there's a perfect example of a regular polygon. But it doesn't have to be a, a square. There can be some other polygons right here. Notice that we have a triangle right here that has the same sides and also the same angles. It's an equilateral and equiangular triangle. So therefore, this is called a regular polygon. And you can see that all three sides are the same all three angles are the same. Here we have what we call a pentagon. All five sides are the same, all five angles are the same. Here we have an hexagon. Again, all, five, all six sides are the same, all six angles are the same. And here's a little trick for you. How do you decide what the angles are inside regular polygons like that? Well, if you extend a line segment like that, and then you look for the supplementary angle, so this would be the supplementary angle right there, and you know that supplementary angles have to add up to 180 degrees, so this has to be uh, 180 minus 60, 120 degrees, and notice that there will be three of those supplementary angles, all supplementary angles have to add up to 360 degrees. So since there's three sides and three angles here, the supplementary angle can be found by taking 360 degrees and dividing it by the number of sides, and that would be 120 degrees, and therefore you subtract 120 degrees from 180, and you get the interior angles. Let's try it for a pentagon. Here we take 360 degrees and divide it by 5. When we do that, we get 72 degrees, which means that if we extend one of the line segments, the supplementary angle has to be 72 degrees, which means the interior angle has to be 180 minus 72 or 180 degrees, so therefore all five angles are 180, degree, 180 degrees. And if we try it for a hexagon, if we continue this line segment like this, and then we notice here that this angle right here will be 360 degrees divided by 6, because there's six sides and six six angles, that would be 60 degrees, so we know that the supplementary angle is 60 degrees, which makes interior angle equal to 120 degrees, 180 minus 60, that means all six angles will be 120 degrees. And that's how you find the angles, the interior angles of a regular polygon. Nice little trick. Anyway, now you have some more information about the different names we use for polygons, and that's how it's done in geometry.